Tim. So right now I'm live at Kettle Falls High School where this morning students and staff will not have to wear masks when going inside the building. That's because the school district voted to make masks optional going against the state's mandate. Less government, more parenting. It's our job to parent our children, not our government. I know that some will say you are not the expert and you need to listen to the expert. I disagree with this statement. I believe that each and every parent is the expert when it comes to their children. Kettle Falls is the first and only district in the state to make this move. The vote is just days after Governor Inslee said he's ending the outdoor mask mandate. We're also expecting to hear from Governor Inslee about the indoor mask mandate later this week. Two board members here in Kettle Falls did think the district should wait it out. I am all for demasking our kids. Um, I do have concern with with the, the liabilities we would take on. Voting tonight would simply be changing seats on the Titanic and trading one problem for another. In the end, board members voted to make masks optional. The state superintendent's office says districts violating the statewide mandate will get an official notice. If they don't fix the issue in 20 days, the state will not give the school all their funding until the issue is fixed. The governor's office also gave crumb to a statement that said in part, quote, school board actions do not supersede state laws, which are being applied here using the latest science and best public health practices. Now, like I mentioned earlier, we are here live at Kettle Falls. Kettle Falls High School is starting two hours late because of a two hour delay for road conditions.